everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will learn about Kinket Demand Curve in Oligopoly. First of all, do you know what is Oligopoly? Maybe you've heard it before. So, without further ado, let's find out together what an Oligopoly is. Oligopoly market is a type of market where there are fewer producers or sellers with relatively many buyers. Therefore, this market is also called a market with imperfect competition. The numbers of producers and consumers who are not balanced, it can even be said to have a high GAP, greatly affect the market price. In addition, the competition will appear quite fierce between the sellers. Not infrequently, is lesser prices. The presence of an oligopoly market makes the small producers dominate the market. They also compete with each other to get as many consumers as possible. This will make it difficult for new companies or producers to enter. To help you to understand the state of the oligopoly market, you can see the illustration below. This is an illustration of an oligopoly market. The market is controlled by two or more traders or producers who sell the same goods and maintain each other's existence. So far, there is no price limit to the number of firms in an oligopoly market, but the number must be low enough so that the actions of one firm can significantly affect each other. Although there are only a handful of companies that become producers or traders, the competition in the oligopoly market is very fierce. This is because every company goes various ways to retain customers and try to win new customers from competing companies. Some of the effects of oligopoly market are price competition. Due to the small number of players, the oligopoly market can only be entered by larger companies with strong capital. This is the characteristic of oligopoly market. The first characteristic of an oligopoly market is that it is run by two or more producers. It is because of this characteristic that this type of market is called imperfect competition because the number of producers selling the product is very small. Of course, it is different from technology producers, which are many in number so that the competition is also maximus. The market is that the products sold are homogeneous and can replace each other. One example is cigarette. The product that is sold is only one cigarette, but there are many product variations. In addition, cigarettes that are considered not selling well in the market can be replaced by other cigarettes. For this reason, cigarette products are called product marketed in the type of market. The realistic is that the prices of goods in the market are relatively the same. Even if there is a difference, the difference is not too big. For example, the price of grain A at the intense store will not be much different from the price of the same brand at the Baroka store. This is due to the policy of rising and falling prices determined by the main producers. So, the producers below it will adjust to these prices because the number of producers is not too many. Of course, the price difference 
that appears on the market is also not too large. The fourth characteristic is that the new producers will find it very difficult to enter the oligopoly market because the old producers already exist by playing with prices so that the consumers don't move. Meanwhile, new producers will certainly not be able to catch up with this existence. Indeed, the company can provide low prices, but as new business, of course it very risk because the profit are very small. The fifth characteristic is that it requires a major marketing strategy because the product market are homogeneous with a small number of producers it is fair that if market socialization is not carried out intensively consumers will switch to other product therefore promotion or marketing strategies need to be carried out properly because this determines whether the product is still in the circulation or even seen. The last characteristic is that in an oligopoly market, the policy of the main producer becomes the reference for other producers or brand producers. Therefore, the branch manufacturers only carry out the policy. Included in the policies of the main producers other producers must follow are the withdrawal of old products and being replaced by new products. This includes changing the function, price, and taste of the product. Okay guys, as you can see on the left side, this is an example of an oligopoly market. The first, vehicle industry, such as motorcycle, cars, and others. Second, internet services provider, such as e-home, business, and others. Third, cell phone company, such as Samsung, Oppo, and others. Fourth, instant noodle manufacturer, such as Indomie, Salimi, and others. such as Lion Air, CityLink, and others. And the last one, Seaweed Company, such as Surya, Budangaram, and others. So guys, apart from the example I mentioned before, there are still a lot of example of oligopoly market around us, but we don't realize it. Important thing we can do to find out the state of the market. The market is said to be a monopoly market if the market controlled by only one company. For example, Vitamina, LN, and others. While a market can be said to be an oligopoly market if there are only two or few companies that dominate the market as in the example I mentioned before. Guys, do you know why demand curve came in oligopoly? The oligopoly faces a kinked demand curve because of competition from other oligopolies in the market. If the oligopoly increases its price above the equilibrium price, it is assumed that the other oligopolies in the market will not follow with the price increases of their own. The rationale behind flex demand curve model. The curve shape of the curve indicates that there are two elasticities of demand for the same product. In the market, there are few companies that dominate and each tries to maximize its profit. If firms operating in an oligopoly raises their prices, competitors will not follow suit and 
so firms will experience a significant decline in demand, and consumers will turn to competitors. This is a Kent demand curve. As you guys can see, the flex demand curve consists of two straight lines. In one part of the straight line shows, consumers' demand is elastic to the increases in the price of goods. Thus, when the price of a good increases, the quantity demand will fall at a higher percentage. For example, if the price of product increases by 15%, the quantity demanded will decrease by more than 15%. It can be said that consumers are very sensitive to the rising product prices. We can see there is a purple lineal here. It shows the marginal cost. Marginal cost is the increases in total cost resulting from producing one unit of production output. For the example, if the firm produces 1000 units, the additional cost of increasing output is 1001 units. That is called marginal cost. Shift in the demand curve usually occurs in several things. The first thing is, a shift in the demand curve occurs due to a change in price. The result in a change in consumer's demand for goods. The shift of the curve is as follows. The first, as the prices increases, the quantity demanded of the good decreases. So, the demand curve will shift to the left. And if the price goes down, the quantity demanded of the good will increase. So, the demand curve will shift to the right. Second, change in consumer income. Shift in the demand curve occur because of the change in consumers or community income. The result in a change in the demand for goods. The shift of the curve is, if the consumer income increases, the quantity demanded of goods increases and the demand curve shifts to the right. And if the consumer income falls, the quantity demanded of goods decreases and the demand curve shifts. There are also several factors that can affect the movement of the curve. The first, determination of a product price. Product price that experience a decrease or increase usually have an impact on the demand curve. Here, we can see that the product prices affect the way consumers spend their money. When product prices are higher, consumer demand is getting lower and lower. Second, because of consumer's income. The income that consumers generate also affect the demand curve. When customers' income are high, they are more willing to pay higher prices for the product they need. Meanwhile, low-income consumers will be unwilling or unable to pay high product prices. Third, because of competitors' product prices. Competitor prices can also have an impact on the demand for an item. It is important for the company to analyze the price of the same product from competitors before the company sets the price of its product. If the price of the same product belonging to a competitor is lower and still make a profit, the impact is the consumer's demand for those goods will increase. Fourth, because of consumer's interest. The interest of consumers may also change from time to time. Consumers' preference may change due to new trends, new products, etc. So that the same product does not attract the market. Fifth, because of consumers' expectation. The expectation of consumers can affect 
exchange sentiment curve. This consumer expectation causes a sudden increases and decreases in the demand of goods. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.